what's going on guys it's Tom New York and I really quickly wanted to make a video talking to you about snapchat now if you guys know me on social media and you follow me on Twitter and Instagram you know that I've actually been using my snapchat a lot more and I've posted my snap code on Twitter and Instagram uh, asking you guys to go over there add me uh, and you know we can chat on snapchat i don't know <laughs> you guys can watch my stories or whatever uh, and a lot of you guys have so it's really really cool and i'm glad to see you over there and i'm glad to get snaps from you guys you guys have actually sent me stuff you know uh, some people have sent me you know really high scoring games some people have sent me like kill cams and stuff and that's really cool and i really appreciate that and i love being able to connect with you guys on snapchat but Today I want to make a video talking to you about two features that I really really think Snapchat needs to implement in order to uh, cater to a broader audience. The first thing that I want on Snapchat, and I think a lot of other people do as well, is being able to upload photos and videos from our camera roll. Um, videos especially, you know, for someone like me. Uh, and the reason for this is because, you know, we can already do this with third-party software, right? And I know uh, that that is against the terms and conditions of Snapchat. Snapchat doesn't want you uploading anything uh, from an external source. They want it all to be done in their application. And I understand that because there is uh, privacy issues with these third-party uh, softwares. You don't know where they're located in the world. You don't know what the motives are for people who make these apps, collecting data and things like that. So I understand why they want that to be the case. It's for privacy reasons and for your own security. However, this feature is so popular and so demanded that people have to go elsewhere and they have to look somewhere else for an alternative because the default uh, Snapchat at do app doesn't uh, actually give us this feature so we're forced basically to find these third-party apps that will allow us to upload photos and videos from our camera roll to our snap stories or to our friends directly so with this being the case and the fact that these third-party apps have been around like for like four years now uh just goes to show that this is a feature that people have wanted forever we still want it uh, and the success of these apps is, you know, just goes to show how badly we actually want it. And we don't really are, we're not paying attention to the, you know, violations of terms and conditions and whatever. And we're willing to risk our data, I guess, uh, you know, our passwords and things like that with these third party companies to, just to get this feature. So I think for Snapchat, it is responsible. They are responsible for, uh, you know, fixing this problem because while it is the individual's choice to you know put their information on these third-party apps obviously it's their fault if they get hacked or or whatever but in a way it is absolutely snapchat's fault because they can prevent hundreds of thousands of people uh from compromised data by simply adding a feature that we've been asking for for so long so you know <laughs> they're kind of they're they're improving lots of things of snapchat right snapchat has gotten way better since it first came out you know when it first came out i didn't even really use it like i had an account or whatever but it was just stupid like okay um but now with all like the filters and all the effects and all the things that you can do uh and the stories and then you know all this stuff it's a great app it's awesome it's great for connecting with people uh you know in in a real time sort of thing uh because you know it goes away after 24 hours you know your snap story and after all these improvements are said and done we're, we're left with a great app but it's missing one feature that we've wanted since day one so snapchat you got to do this man you you really have to uh we're we're getting sick and tired of using these these uh third party softwares um they're not safe for the consumer uh and and you uh, you absolutely have the power to fix this problem and implement a feature that we've wanted forever and i would absolutely love it uh if i could just you know do that from my app i wouldn't you know it, it's just it would make everyone's life a lot easier who wants to use that feature the second thing that i think snapchat really 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 needs to implement is the ability to have multiple accounts on one device uh, and that is you know basically for all the people like myself who you know have a personal snapchat and then i have a youtube snapchat and i want to keep those two things separate uh because a you can't change your snapchat your account username or whatever um so i don't want to you know, I don't want to have people, you know, have my personal account or whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter why people have two accounts. Some people just want two accounts for there's a million reasons why you would want to have multiple accounts, but it, it doesn't matter. A lot of people have more than one account on Snapchat. 
Uh, and it's stupid that you have to go to settings, log out, go you know back into the app, type in your username for the other one, password, and then when you want to switch, you have to log out, go back, change the username, input the new password, log in, and you have to keep track of both usernames and both passwords. And anytime you want to you know upload a picture or take a picture or whatever. Um, you have to, you know, put it on one and then, uh, you know, sign out and then take the picture again uh, because you can't upload it from your snap, your camera roll. Hint, hint, duh. You see where I'm coming from? You see you see how this makes sense, guys? Uh, and then you have to log into the other one, take the picture again or video or whatever. Uh, and it's just really stupid. So there needs to be a way where you can have two accounts on the same advice, device or three accounts or four accounts or whatever, however many accounts because Twitter does it. Uh, Instagram does it and, and these you know these uh, originally didn't have this feature and they've both since integrated it because of the demand that's there to have multiple accounts on one device you know people obviously want it because they're doing it for all their other devices or all their other social media accounts you know obviously Facebook you can have um, your account and then you can have multiple pages with you know official your official Facebook page or whatever so all the other social media platforms are doing this so snapchat you really are late to the party at this point you've had a long time to figure this out and it's something that a lot of people would benefit from and i mentioned in the beginning of this video that these features would broaden the demographic that are tapping into snapchat and what i meant by that was people like me uh, and if you follow me on snapchat you know this are looking for ways to promote their brand and their content and i'm a very small youtuber so, you know, for me, uh, if I have a bunch of, you know, 25, 30 people on my Snapchat and I want to upload maybe a little 10 second promo video saying, hey, I just uploaded a new video. Not only do I have to sign out of my personal account, sign into my YouTube account, then I have to render the video on my computer, right? Put it on my phone and then I have to log into my Snapchat from a third party software, upload the video from that software then i have to sign out of the third party software sign back into regular snapchat and make sure that it actually sent to my you know either the individuals that i send it to or just to my story just to make sure that everything went through okay uh and you know for someone who's trying to market uh either a product a service or you know they're just their personal brand they you're making it very difficult for them and that you have they have to jump through all sorts of hoops and violate different uh terms of service conditions just to do a very basic thing you know advertising is a very basic thing that every social media platform basically thrives on i mean you know every business these days has a twitter most of them i feel like have an instagram and obviously a facebook page so you know if you want them to have a snapchat as well you know if you want all these businesses to have a snapchat then you need to make it easier for them to do it and i'm not just talking like cnn or you know uh espn or something like that you know i'm talking like the mom and pop pizza place or you know a popular ice cream parlor in town you know if they had a snapchat you know maybe it's a one weekend in june and you're on snapchat right and you you see the snap story goes up for you know grandpa's uh farm stand ice cream or something and you see that they maybe they're advertising a sale on their orange creamsicles or something like that you know and they can creatively make an advertisement in in the seconds and post it to their snap story uh, and, and advertise that way, but you're making it very hard for them, especially if they want to have very professional looking advertisements on your platform uh, because it's very limiting. So this video might not apply to a lot of you, but there are definitely people watching that I do know would wish that they could do these things. I know a lot of people want to upload from that camera roll. I know a lot of people want to have multiple accounts. And if you guys do, let me know in the comment section below. What do you want to see on Snapchat? Do you think these features would be desired? Do you think you would use them? Do you think you know people that would use them? I'd love to hear your opinions in the comment section below. Make sure you leave a rating. Subscribe to my channel if you are new around here. You won't regret it. And uh, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm New York out. Peace.